when you walk out on on uh, Saturday at Stamford Bridge and you look to your left, you'll you'll see six thousand North End fans. It, uh, it's an extraordinary number. I, and I think uh, I think that's the positive side, lads. And, and I know it's Chelsea, but you see them six thousand, six and a half thousand, or six. Yeah, yeah, it's six thousand, more, more than six thousand, following the team home and away. Um, and away going to Chelsea where it's expensive to get to London 1. The coaches, trains, tickets, we normally appreciate the support and yet that'll give me, ears will stand up on the back of my neck knowing that they're there to support the players and, and the football club uh, and that's where we want our lads to give a good account themselves for them uh, because they're important to us and I know sometimes the dips in the road, of course, every fan up and down the country has them um, but yeah, they're going to be our 12 man to lead us to what we want to try and do in the future. Do you think there's enough creativity there? Is, is there enough of a, a, a killer instinct there at the moment? I, th I think so, yeah. I think, um, again, so I just touched on the Sheffield game. I, we probably did miss that, but I felt like the opportunities were there. We had a lot of the ball in the final third, and um, I think they actually defended the box really well. That sometimes happens. They come out, obviously, they went a goal ahead and um, put their bodies on the line. and. Um, yeah, we, I think we're confident that we, we, if we get the chances, we're confident we'll take them. Um, it's obviously something we do need to improve on, trying to create more chances, but I, I feel like we definitely do have that, that ability in the group. We just probably want to let them know that we're working as hard as we can day in, day out to try and put it right. We obviously want to recapture that form and we believe that we can do that and we're determined to, to keep pushing and keep fighting so that we can get, get those results that, that we show we're capable of at the start of the season. Feels like you're somehow got away with never really having a Austin Spurs last year, like a big, big tie, is that right? I don't know. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we know we've got it in us, it's just about finding finding it again and um, it, it might take a scrappy 1-0 win or, or whatever, but I think we do have to stick together as a team and, and get the performances in we need, but ultimately we need the results as well. Um, and like I said, we need we need to do that by any means necessary. Perfect. Brilliant. Good Brilliant. way to end. <laughs> Thanks, Jed. Yeah. <laughs> and you what? When I have to say the question again, you what? Like Repeat. Come on, Tom. Oh, no. You're all right. Should be a, a good test for us. I mean, they're a they're a, they're a great team with a lot of world class world class players, and um, it's yeah, it's probably a bit of a free hit for us. It it, it takes away from from our um, what we've been doing in the league really. So there's probably a bit bit less pressure on us, and, uh, and yeah, it's one of them. You want to go down there with with all of our fans who are who are travelling, and you want to just try and give give a good account of yourselves and and test yourself against some of the best players really. We've got, I think, is it six, six thousand fans travelling, which, which is amazing support, really. Um, and obviously, we're being an FA Cup tie, just adds that bit extra to it, and and hopefully, um, <clears throat> we're on the right side of a, a, a cup up, cup upset, really, because um, I think we played Tottenham last year in the third round, and we uh, we played really well, but obviously, I think the clash shone through in the end. But yeah, you never know. We we just want to. Make sure the fans who are going there are, are kind of prou proud of the team, really, and um, and yeah, we'll we'll give a give it our best and see what happens. Oh, 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 oh,
Liam Rafter, after Chelsea this weekend, Emirates FA Cup third round clash. Is that one that everyone here is just really looking forward to? <clears throat> yeah, of course. Uh, I think whenever you go to Stamford Bridge or Chelsea or any of the big clubs in England, I think it's always a big, uh, a big atmosphere and a big thing. And yeah, so you got to go there and uh, be positive and hopefully you can get a result. And yeah, so let's see. You've got to go there with no fear, I suppose, and show what you can do. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. I think, you know, I think I, we use that in Canada a little bit when you're playing against Belgium and Morocco and all these teams in the World Cup. I think, you know, they are technically a bigger team than us, but on any given day, anyone can be anyone. And I think that's the mentality we have to go in there with. And, uh, yeah, obviously they're a top team with top players. Most expensive player in English history also plays there as well. So. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we just got to go in there with the right mentality that anyone can beat anyone on any given day, and yeah, see what happens. Oh, the poll then, yeah. He was at Markham this season, wasn't he? Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't know if I've been too far on that Ali, congratulations, a new deal here at Preston North End. How happy are you sat there that, that that's all done? Yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing just to sort of get it all sorted. To be fair, it was quite easy from start to finish, just getting it all, getting it all done. But I'm, I'm really happy here and I'm just looking forward to the next couple of years. Yeah, it's absolutely massive. You see it, you see it on Twitter, I saw it the other day, that, like you say, 6,000. That's, that's, that's unreal, to be honest with you. Coming down there for an evening game, I'm, I'm sure the travelling's difficult as well. So it just shows the the backing that we've got from them and I'm sure that they'll all be looking forward to it and then when we go down there and hear, hear them in the away end it's, it just sort of gives us that more emphasis to go and try and get a result as well. Perfect. Thank you. Cheers Ali. It's all right. I'm trying to think while I'm doing it, I can't speak. Is it your first time to Stamford Bridge? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. That's why I want to go. Yeah, I'm not expecting much, but you never, you never know your cup match. So I'm just hoping for a good result. Yeah, real forward to it. It's a good occasion, isn't it? Oh yeah. Against the big yeah. boys. Uh, it's immense. Yeah. Uh, it'd, it'd be wonderful if it were like this every week, but uh, perhaps another season. Let's hope next year yeah. they can get in the Premier League. Any score predictions? Any positivity this morning? Uh, um, <laughs> a draw. Yeah, take yeah, him back to detail. Yes, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. I saw a clip. Chris Sutton uh, said that it's, it'd be a close game, and he, he said it, he's thinking it could be one-one today. So I will take that all day long. <laughs> uh, brilliant, good day out with me and my dad. It's not often we get to go out together, so I'm really looking forward to it. Is this the kind of occasion you look forward to as a, as a supporter? Definitely away games, and it's Premier League, so it's even better. Are you expecting anything today against big boys? I mean. We've got to be hopeful and go for the win. How much are you excited for your day today? Really excited. First time to Stamford Bridge? Yeah. Looking forward to your trip? Yeah. P and are you going to win today? Yeah. What do you reckon for the score? 2-1. Uh, 
Love it. Thank you. Are these the occasions you look forward to as a fan? Oh, I love, love these sort of days. Love it. Have you been to a, a big game like this before? Kind of. Leeds away. Uh, nothing really close to Chelsea away. You look forward to seeing Stamford Bridge? Yeah, of course. Good stadium. When, when they used to play Blackburn, they put out like Nicholas Jackson and all them. Like, if we put out a decent lineup, then we could have a decent chance of winning. I see you on all our fan galleries all the time, so I know that you go, go to all the games. How much, how much do you enjoy the away days? Like, lots. Yeah, lots. What about pressing off end? How much does that mean to you? Lots. Too much. <laughs> what about score prediction for the day? 2-1, Alan Brown, to score. Score both? Yep. Love it. Thanks very much. First trip to Stamford Bridge as well. Are you looking forward to seeing a, a huge stadium? Yeah. What do you reckon for the score today? 2-0. Yeah, who's scoring for us? Alan Brown. Nice one. We could do it. Depends what they play. Depends what team they play. Do you go to many away days at Win North End? Not really. Uh, I went to Wednesday earlier this season. That was banging. I just hope this is as good. Probably better. You look forward to seeing Chelsea, seeing Stamford Bridge? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's one of the stadiums that I've always wanted to be into, to be fair. But uh, it's just long, isn't it? Long journey. <laughs> Be worth it though. You do it for P and E though, don't you? You got to, hundred percent.
making their way out for this fairy tale trip in the FA Cup. This competition has turned dreams into reality, and tonight it's North End's time to try and cause a cup upset against Premier League giants. There's a 6,000-strong army of away fans cheering the Lily Whites on here at Stamford Bridge, but the former European and Premier League champions, Chelsea, stand in their way in this mouth-watering third-round tie. For Ryan Lowe, it's a chance to write a piece of history and get the club's name in lights. And it would be some story if the Lancashire men can spring a surprise against one of the richest clubs uh, in the world. Chelsea, they're relying on cup competitions to keep their season going this season. They've struggled in the Premier League title race. They're without Champions League football this season. But in the semi-final of the Carabao Cup already, and they're looking to go deep in this competition too.
great. Wide out. for Palmer. North End struggling to get out here as it's sent forward, and Freddie Woodman will gratefully grasp that one. The half time whistle goes, and it is so far so good for Ryan Lowe's side. They are holding the Premier League side, Chelsea, uh, nil nil at the break. Palmer's effort, the closest that Chelsea have come to scoring in this opening 45 minutes. Well, Ben Whiteman and Will Keane have had a couple of half chances for Ryan Lowe's side at the other end. It's been a workmanlike performance from the championship outfit, but uh, Paul Sparrow at the break, it is nil-nil. We gave them something to cheer about the first half, but even when we did go down, I, st I still heard them. And then, like I said at the end of the game, they were they were top class. And um, yeah, we need them this season. So hopefully, they're in top voice against Bristol, which I'm sure they'll be. Chelsea have won goes the full-time whistle so it's Chelsea who progressed to the fourth round of the FA Cup it was three goals in ten minutes at the start of the second half that made it comfortable for them Armando Breuer, Thiago Silva and Raheem Sterling scored in quick succession before Enzo Fernandez got a fourth they're bouncing away the North End fans as uh, they are staying here for a good time despite the, uh, the full-time score.
Dus ze hebben gezegd, dan praten de laatste die ik al ken, dat ik weer ga naar en wil je pakt een drone board en wil je de next game plan meid. Uh, again, special mention to the Preston fans. Wow, um, unbelievable the support was, was fantastic. God, uh, so again, big thank you from me, the staff and the players. The old sang the Premiership. Was champions, European champions, I don't know. I, I, I can't believe it, well, I can believe it, because I know what we've got when we're really behind the team, and that's what it was. Uh, phenomenal, so again, wow. Uh, they, should, they should be proud as well, because they've outsung Premiership, they've come to a Premiership grant, and they've outsung them.